This lesson features cash book, three column cash book. Many of you are confused when you prepare three column cash book. When you try to answer on your exam, you often make mistake. What is complicated here? You need to calculate discount receipt and discount allowed. So here on the question, discount amount is not given. You need to figure out, okay? So here for your better understanding, I've taken a question from IGCC accounting pass paper. I will show you here how to answer step by step. So before we dive in here, let us have a look at the question on the screen. Shakir started trading in the year ended 31st August 2023 but did not keep proper books of account. His assets and liabilities at 1st September 2023 were as follows. So here we see some assets and liabilities and we have here cash at bank $1,682. So cash at bank, should we take this amount here in this account? Yes, you have to take. So this is the opening balance. Shakir started his business on 1st September 2023. And on this date, this is his bank balance, okay? So it is a debit account. It is a current asset. So current asset has debit account, debit balance. So we will record this balance here on the debit side, okay? By the way, from this asset and liabilities, we calculated capital. We prepared journal for opening entries. If you want, you can watch this video, then you come back here. This will help you to understand more about cash book. So I'll put a link in the description for you. Okay, then here, what we have on the question? During September 2023, the following transitions took place. So first of all, we have here September 2, paid rent $420 by credit transfer. Okay, so rent paid, it is an expense. Expense will be recorded on the credit side. Before that, we need to write the opening balance here. Yeah? So as I told you, opening balance will come on the debit side. It is a bank balance, okay? Bank balance has a debit account. So we will write here date 2023, September 1st. We will write here balance. BD, BD stands for brought down, okay? So on the bank column, we will write $1,682, okay? So what about cash? We do not have cash balance on the question. So we will not write opening balance for cash, okay? It will be empty here, okay? So you know discount allowed and discount received. These two columns have no opening balance. These are nominal account. Discount allowed is an expense and discount received is an income. This, this appears in the income statement, okay? But cash and bank is an asset. By the way, sometimes we have bank balance on the credit side. When? If it is a bank overdraft, okay? Don't forget, in this case, we will write opening balance on the credit side. This account here will your debit side. Maybe another question, you will get overdraft and then you need to write on the credit column, okay? So here, September 2, rent paid, it is written on the question, rent paid by credit transfer, okay? Credit transfer, it is not a cash transition. It is a bank related transition. Credit transfer is made by bank okay so balance the amount will go from the bank not from cash okay so here it is an expense you know we know expense will be always recorded on the credit side and incomes gains will be recorded on the debit side point to be noted another way we, we if we we can say if by making any transition if our bank or cash balance increase, in this case, we will record on the debit side, okay? If decrease, we will record on the credit side, okay? Do not forget. Okay, so here, rent paid. So let us go to the credit side. 
and we write the date 2023 we would write here rent and this money is paid from the bank means credit transfer so we will write on the bank column 420 dollars okay great then we have here number four means september four we showcase 350 dollar from the bank for business use there are two types of withdrawals sometimes we withdraw for personal use sometimes we withdraw for business use okay if we withdraw for business use it will be a contra entry business use these terms are not always same on the question sometimes it is mentioned as office use but still it is a contra entry okay so how we record contra entry this entry appears both side of the cash book debit side and on the credit side so many of you make mistake when you try to answer contra related transition but it is quite easy so first of all we will think about cash okay we have taken cash from bank okay so what about our cash cash increases or decreases obviously cash will be increasing yeah so we will record on the debit side okay so how much it is 350 dollar on the cash column okay and date is here september 4. so here now what to write on the detail column as you wrote money on the bank, uh, cash column so obviously on the detail column we will write the opposite account which is here bank okay now let us think about bank we have taken money from the bank so obviously bank balance will be decreased yeah so we will write on the credit side on the bank column 350 dollars and we will write here date september 4 and we need to write the detail what to write yes it is cash okay because we wrote money on the bank column so Contra, yeah, very simple, not complicated, but you need to understand. So to ident identify this transition, we can write here C as contra. If you do not write, it is also okay. Great, then we have here September 7. So here it is written that paid Latif $194 by telephone transfer in full settlement of the amount owing at 1st September 2023. So we paid Latif $194, full settlement of balance owing on, on 1st September 2023. What amount we owe? So here on the question, we have a list of balances, yeah? So we can see here, Latif, it is $200. So this balance is the opening balance. So we now paid this amount, okay? So how much we paid? We paid $196, okay? But we owed $200. So we paid, means balance will be decreased, yeah? So we will write on the credit side, which column will write? Bank column or the cash column? Well, it is bank column. Why in the bank column? Because we paid by telephone transfer, means we ordered the bank or bank account by telephoning to pay this amount to settle this amount to the trade payables okay so bank paid so all bank balance will be decreased so we will write money on the bank column now on the detail we will write Latif we paid to him and the date will be here September 7 okay so we owed $200 but we paid $194 what about $6 200 minus $194 equal to $6 it is a discount okay we received this discount from Latif okay so we will write this amount on the discount receipt column 
So next transaction is here, September 10, sold goods on credit, $195 to Sydney. Sold goods on credit, should we take this account transaction here? No, not at all. Why? It is a credit transaction. We did not receive any money, even we did not pay any money for this transaction, okay? So credit related purchase and sales, we never take on the cash book, please note it down. Now you might be thinking why this transition is given on the question, question just to check your understanding. If you understand, you will not take this transition, okay? You will skip. Okay, so here next transition is September 12, paid $161 cash for wages, okay? Wages, it is an expense, expense comes on the credit side, we already know, still, here we paid in cash, so cash balance will be decreasing. So we will write on the credit side. So let us write here the date first, September 12. We will write here wages. So $161, we will write on the cash column because we paid in cash, okay? So next transition is here, September 17, cash sales $290 were paid directly into the bank account, okay? Cash sales, we sold goods and we received money in cash. But we did not hold this cash with us. Directly, we paid this money to the bank, okay? So our bank balance will be increasing, okay? So sales is a revenue, so revenue always comes on the debit side. So let us write here date first, September, 17 we will write here sales on the digital column and we will write amount on the bank column it is 290 dollars okay finish our next transition is here 28 received a check 100 dollar from sydney okay received a check so receiving check means receiving money by bank okay because we deposit this this check into the bank so bank balance will be increased yeah so we will write on the debit side so first we have to write the date it is 28 we will write your name sydney so we will write money on the bank column it is 100 dollars okay done next transition is here 29 the last transition Paid $95 to Harrison by electronic transfer, having deducted $5 cash discount from the amount due. Okay, so here we paid $95 to Harrison by electronic transfer. This electronic transfer happens by bank, okay? So the bank balance will be decreasing. So we need to record on the credit side, okay? So we paid $95 and we deducted $5 discount, okay? So let us write here on the credit side. Date first, September 29. We will write here Harrison. We paid $95 by electronic transfer. And here we have $5 discount, okay? So great, we recorded it all the transitions. Now we will balance it. Many of you make mistake when you balance, but it is not so tough, okay? Very easy. First of all, we will balance the cash column, okay? So cash column, will com compare debit cash column to the credit cash column. We will check which cash column is greater, yeah? So we see here, the debit cash column is greater. Here we, are, we have 100, 350, but here we have 161. So let us sum up here first. So one amount only, $350, okay? Now we will take this amount to the opposite cash column. Means here on the credit column, $350. So now if we minus $160 here from $350, we get here $189, okay? So this is the closing balance okay we write closing balance as balance cd stands for balance carried on and for balance cd we write the last day of the financial month okay so it is september 
So last day is September 30, okay? Great, now same way we need to do for bank. So debit bank column is greater. Sometimes credit bank column we see greater, but here debit column is larger. So if we total here, we get 2072. Okay, so we will take this amount to the opposite bank column. Here it is 2072. Okay, now we will subtract this all amounts from this total. Okay, so what you get if we subtract? We get here 1013 dollars. Okay, so this is not over. Now, what to do? Now we need to bring down the balance here. Yeah? So here we have balance CDs on the credit side. We will come to the debit side and follow the total. We will write balance BD. So here for cash it is $189 on the cash column. For bank it is $1013 on the bank column okay now what about discount receipt and discount allowed column we do not need to balance it okay just we will get the total so here we have six plus five equal to eleven dollars on the credit side discount receipt here we did not allow any discount okay so what are about date for balance bd here it will be first day of next month we have done this this account for september so first day will be october 2023 so here we write 23 october first